Hello there, fellow YouTube users. This is Frostbite2862 signing back on with the real next walkthrough coming in, Pokemon Gold. If you watched my last quote-unquote walkthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum, then if you, did, if you watched it the whole entire way through, then you knew that that was nothing but an April Fool's Day joke, and that this is the real next thing going on, Pokemon Gold. I was able to get it to work, and I'm so excited to start doing this, and the first thing that we noticed here is that you're able to set a time, unlike the first generation, because in Generation 2, it adds in the fact that certain Pokemon are going to be coming out at certain times of the day, which we'll be getting more into that later on as we go. As we're sitting here talking with Mr. Oak, or not talking with him, but letting him talk, I'm going to go ahead and throw some things out there about this walkthrough. For starters, um, my good friend, Code Black 1222 he's going to be doing Pokemon Silver over on his channel. When exactly he starts that, I'm not exactly sure of, but he did confirm to me that he is indeed going to be playing it, so go check out his walkthrough as well. We're basically going to be playing this one together. And so obviously, when you select your name, you know, you get to pick whatever the hell you want. In this case, I chose myself as Frosty, going off of my YouTube username, Frostbite. Now, the other thing to note is that, in a sense, this game is going to be a 100% walkthrough. Not 100% as far as the Pokedex goes, and we'll get more into that a little bit later, but first off, we're gonna go to the PC here, withdraw item, and okay, there's nothing to get here. Unlike in the first generation, there is no potion to get in the computer, we're gonna be getting it a different way instead. And you're going to be talking with your good old mother here, who's going to be telling you that Professor Elm over next door has been, is basically looking for you, and that you have your Poke gear right back from the shop, which contains a map, once you do get the map, um, a phone for whenever you feel like calling people, it shows the time and the date whenever you go check it, and so it's a really, you know, u useful item. You also get to choose what time of day it is, and if it's daylight savings time and whatnot. Um, the the date, well, not no, the day, um, determines on some events that goes on. There's events in this game, such as the National Park Contest, that only happen on certain days, such as Tuesdays, Thursdays, and I think the other one is Sundays. So anyways, we're going to take a little look around here in New Bark Town. Very nice, calming music to listen to. Eh, one of my favorite ones. I do like the first generations, but I like this one a little bit more. So we're going to be going to talk to Professor Elm here, who is vastly nicer than Professor Oak, who is nothing but a complete asshole to you in the first generation. But anyways, as this is going on, let me try and explain here really quick about this being 100% completion walkthrough. It's not going to be 100% completion as far as the Pokedex goes, because since this is an, since I'm playing it on an emulator, I am unable to trade, and I, I am aware that there is a way to, but I'm not exactly going to go through and do it because I really don't care about trading. I, 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 like I said, I'm not looking to make this 100% as far as the Pokedex. I mean, not the Poke, yeah, the Pokedex goes. I'm looking at it to be 100% on on everything else. I'm gonna fight every single trainer, all the gym, all 16 gym leaders, including Red at the very end. Um, so basically, I'm gonna be finding all the trainers. I'm also gonna be getting every single item, items that people give you, and also hidden items as well. So we'll be getting to that, you know, when we get there. And that's basically what I mean by 100% completion. You know, you're gonna be finding every single item. We're gonna be battling every single trainer, and that's about it. You know, like I said, it doesn't have anything to do with the Pokedex because I don't feel like going through all the weirdness that you have to do in order to get 100% um, on the Pokedex as far as the emulator goes. So, here we go. We just got the potion from Professor Elm's assistant. That's how you get the potion this one. We got a weird guy staring at Professor Elm's laboratory, and he kicks us out. Now, you might notice that there's a little bit of lag between the sound and the video. That doesn't have anything to do with me. I virtual dubbed it. 
Um, and I've seen other walkthroughs where it has the exact same problem when it comes to Pokemon. I'm not exactly sure. It'll lag in the sound a little bit, then it'll get back to normal. It'll lag a bit, you know. It, it, it's, it's, very, it's very weird to get through, but here we go. We're going to be going through our very first battle sequence here. And if you were watching, you know, I showcase that you can start off with either a Cyntaquil, a Totodile, or a, I think it's called a Chikora. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not, it's either a Chikorita, Chikora, whatever the hell it is. I always go with Cyntaquil because whenever I play Pokemon, I always feel like I need to have the Fire Pokemon to begin with. And so the first thing we're going to run into, run into here on route number 29 is a Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoots can only appear at nighttime within this area. Okay, when it's nighttime, you have a good 85% chance of running into a Hoot Hoot, and then the other 15% chance is that you're going to be running into a Rattata. However, if you are roaming around this area during the daytime, there is no chance of running into a Hoot Hoot. They are, you know, completely gone. Instead, you got a good 55% chance of getting yourself a Pidgey, 5% um, chance of getting a Rattata, and the other 40% is going to be on a Sentrant. Again, I think that's how you pronounce it anyways, Sentrate. If you're playing the Crystal version, you can also run to a Hoppet here, but since we're not playing the Crystal version, we're not going to be running into any Hoppets. Um, as you can see, you know, you can go through, look at your Pokemon, see the kind of stats it has, you come up to the ro top right area here and you're going to get into a Potion. Boy, there's a lot to talk about when it becomes in the opening, so you know, you're probably going to notice me stumbling a little bit, repeating, some, well, not even so much repeating things, but talking about things that aren't really going on because there's a lot that I, you know, feel like I need to get out there, but... Um, but that's basically all you can run to this area are Pidgey, Sentrits, Rattatas during the daytime, and then Rattatas and Hoot Hoots at, um, at nighttime. Um, basically, Rattata and Hoot Hoots are you're going to be running into more often, but since there's an 85% chance of running into a Hoot Hoot, you're going to run into them a lot more than anything else. How I am going... I, I do edit in this game, you know. This is... Um, I haven't mentioned it yet. This is a post-commentary gameplay, and I know some people are like, oh my gosh, he's doing a post-commentary. I thought he hated post-commentaries. Well, in a sense, I do, but it can't be helped in this one, and also, you know, I could use a break for trying to come up with stuff, you know, as I'm playing hour-long worth games, you know, it, it becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass. So, because of it's going to be a post-commentary, it means I'm going to do some editing. The way I do this... When it comes to wild battles, I showcase every Pokemon run into twice. So, since that was the second time I ran into Hoot Hoot, we're about to see here, we run into another one, and instead I just go ahead and edit it right out because we've already fought Hoot Hoot twice. And it doesn't matter... Okay, now, before I go on with that, okay, um, the place I showcase, the little area, though, that goes up to Route 46. Now, Route 46, there's not really much you can do there. A lot of the place is blocked off. There is one little patch of grass that you can go into, and what it does, um, you wouldn't... You're able to get Geodudes, basically, okay? Oh, there's so much to go through. What's going on right now is I showcased a battle, the end of it going against a Hoot Hoot, because I got hit and I used a berry that I was holding on to. We'll get more into that a little bit later. As far as Route 46 goes, you can run into Geodudes, Sparrows, and the likes over in that area. There's also an occasional Rattatat, and also there's a 5% chance that you're going to run into a Jigglypuff. If you really do want a Jigglypuff, you know, spend hours over on Route 46, you'll eventually run into one. I mean, 5%'s not terrible, but it's not really that good. If you do have a Crystal version, then there's a 5% chance you can also run into a Fanfy, but again, I'm not playing that, so I can't, or else I probably would go and get it, but I really can't. You talk to this old man, and what ends up happening is he's going to just move you around. He's going to talk to you about the Poke Center where you can heal up, talk to you about Marts where you can buy stuff, show you the ocean. He'll give you a map card for it. I just showcase it because, once again, this is 100%, and in order to be just like that, you know, you kind of need to get the map card. Um, this is the only time I'm showcasing the Poke Center, unless, like, there's something in the Poke Center that I need to go get. In here, you are able to get healed. You can go over to the computer to withdraw deposit Pokemon, withdraw deposit items and the likes, and the little staircase there you can use to battle friends, trade, all that good stuff. Later on in the game, you are able to trade Generation 1 Pokemon from either um, red, blue, or yellow, if you please. That's not until I think about, nah, I think around the fourth gym. And so, basically, we're done with this area, so we're just going to move on. And that is Cherry Grove City, by the way. Um, other than the fact that you can get certain Pokemon in the water, there's really, not much to, really nothing much to do in that area. You come over here, you got this little patch where you can get berries. You get all sorts of berries in there, regular berries, poison cure berries, um, berries that cure, paralyzing, and the likes. 
Now what I'm showing here is that what you can do is you can get yourself a berry and you can choose the option to give it and you can give it to your Cyndaquil. Only certain items you can give. Well, you can give all items to your Pokemon. Head inside here and you can get another berry from him, by the way. You can give all uh, items to your Pokemon. They do different things. If you give them a potion, it's not going to do anything other than the fact that they're just going to hold it. If you give them berries, then whenever the time comes, they will use that berry for whatever reason it is. As showcased when I was going against that one Hoot Hoot, um, my health dropped to, a, to around the yellow percentage and... I ended up regaining more health because the bear was able to use automatically, so therefore you don't waste a turn healing to get hit again. So here we are, we're fighting a Spinarak. Again, I think it's a, a lot of Pokemon pronunciations are very weird, but I do believe this one's called a Spinarak. Coolest looking bug, in fact I think probably the best bug to get unless you count Generation 5 with that, I, I think it's a fire bug type, you know, that one's kind of cool. But over here in Route 30, just to get it out of the way really quick, um, you can run during the daytime. You can run into Caterpies only in Gold. Weedles you can get in the Silver version. You have about a 50% chance of that during the Absolute Morning. During the afternoon, only about a 35% chance to get those. And yes, basically during the the time-wise, there are three of them. Very early morning, which I think goes between six to I think 11 o'clock. 11 throughout like 7 is afternoon time and then night time is everything after that. Here's a Rattata, and it is pronounced Rattata. I used to think that it used to be called a Radic, uh, 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 what I used to think it was, um, Ratatat, and so did a lot of other people, but it is just Rattata, simple as that. Um, in this area, you can also run into Pidgeys, um, during the day and afternoon time. Um, Spinarax, on the other hand, only appear at night, 30% chance. And again, can only be found in the gold version. Silver version gets Ladybug instead. That can only be found during the daytime. So again, between, I think it's like 6 to 11. It might be even shorter than that. It might be from like 6 to 10 in the morning, somewhere around there. That's the only time you're going to be able to get it if you're going for a Ladybug. Enjoy seeing Rattata here, because this is the second time we're going to be going against him, and the last. Now, the other thing about held items to note is that um, there are some of them that you hold, they hold on and they get more power because of it, which we'll be going into once we get to it. But there are ones like, I think it was what's called Miracle Seed, where if it's attached to a Pokemon, their grass attacks become a little bit stronger. So those are pretty nice things to have. Oh boy, I really think I got a lot of what I needed to explain about this game out there already. See, once again, berries work when the minute you hit in yellow, or if it's hard enough to get you into red, but once you hit... Once your bar turns yellow, it automatically works. We're level 8. <coughs> Yay us. <coughs> Very nice stat increase. If you come to this little flower patch and look over, you can find yourself a hidden potion. So there's our first hidden item of the game. Keep going to the left here. You're going to end up getting yourself a poison cure berry right out of this little tree. The other thing about the trees is that after about a couple of days, they re-get whatever they had in there again. And this is where the video ends, so I'll be catching you guys in part two. And hopefully whatever I didn't say, I can say the rest then. So I'll see you guys then.